The instruments that you'll see played tonight were a collaboration between the antenna repairman and ceramic artist Stephen Friedman. I also have worked with this group. Last summer I created uh, what I call the California Gavaldashi. It's a large stone that uh, is reflective of a, of a natural stone that I saw in the country of Azerbaijan when I was there last year. It's a ritualistic stone and it was used as very resonating tone was used for uh, ritual dances. Um, currently, students in my advanced class are working on a project of sound instruments, innovative sound instruments that are um, uh, flutes and ocarinas, also percussion instruments. And there will be a workshop coming up in Get Your Hands Dirty, which is a USC arts initiative that allows students to have the opportunity to experience the arts. And I'm going to be doing a workshop on Sunday, January 30th, in the afternoon, in which we'll be making ocarinas out of clay. Also, myself and uh, Veronica Krausis of the Thornton School of Music, here at USC, are working on a proposal for a class that will integrate um, music and art. We are calling it sound art. And students involved in this course will, uh, some of them will make instruments, students, music students will perform on them and compose for them. So if you're interested in this course, which we hope to put in the curriculum in fall 2010, please sign up outside on the refreshment table and give, give us your name and email. I want to thank a number of people for tonight's event. First of all, Visions and Voices, which this event wouldn't be possible without the support. I want to thank Dean Ruth Weisberg from the Roski School of Fine Arts. She can be here tonight, she's traveling. Also, the terrific staff in the Roski School of Fine Arts, in particular, Douglas Matthews, Nazli Hozek, and Dwayne Moser. There are many more, I'm not gonna name all of them. Um, tonight, we're gonna to be taping this performance for USC YouTube, so I hope that everyone will turn their cell phones off right now. Um, and the other thing is these two doors, you want to enter, exit out of these doors because an alarm will sound. <coughs> so tonight's performance is going to have two musical sets. And between both of them, they will, the antenna repairman will talk about the music they're performing and the instruments they're performing on. At the end of the second set, there will be a question and answer period. The antenna repairmen began as graduate students at a California Institute of the Arts. And each of these musicians that make up this group are very accomplished. They have so many uh, recognized acknowledgements. I'm only going to introduce a few of them. First, Robert Fernandez. Oh, there. There's Robert. Okay. Robert became began playing bongos at age five and is a percussionist in traditional and cross-cultural music. He's on the faculty at Cal State Los Angeles where he directs the percussion and Afro-Latin percussion ensembles. He has worked with a variety of artists as diverse as Tito Puente, Frank Zappa, and Barry Manilow, to name a few. His recent book, The Afro-Cuban Folkloric Musician Tradition, a practical guide for percussionists has been praised as the best available resource of its kind. M.B. Gordy. He's currently on the music department faculty percussion ensemble at Los Angeles Harbor College. His work as a freelance musician and producer includes playing on numerous film scores, including The Crow, Stigmata, Spider-Man, and Terminator 3. He performed with the LA Philharmonic, the National Symphony, and the Hollywood Bowl Orchestra. He has numerous pop credit and rock credits, including recordings with Ario Speedwagon, Green Day, and Guns N' Roses. He has recently been touring with Rita Coolidge. And Arthur Jarvanen. 
Arthur is a musician composer whose work is so stylistically eclectic and medium diversified that he can be described as a free range artist. He established himself as a new music percussion specialist with the California EAR unit and later as a leader or member of numerous ensembles playing everything from Balkan music to live electronic improvisations. He is a recipient of grants and fellowships from the Kosovitsky and Fromm Foundations, the Los Angeles Philharmonic, and the National Endowment of the Arts. He is currently on the composition faculty at the California Institute of the Arts. Please welcome the antenna repairman.
uh, several times a day to announce the hours of prayer, to gather everyone together to do their, their religious practice. In Zen Buddhist uh, monasteries, the Zendos, they also have something called the Han, which just means wood. And it's a similar uh, implement in that it's just a hanging piece of wood that they hit with hammers. And again, it calls those religious practitioners to come together and join together and sit and practice their spiritual practice. So I thought it would be a nice way to welcome everyone here with a kind of welcoming gesture and a, a sort of positive thought to put in the air. Uh, we moved over then to uh, Karen Koblitz's California Gabaldashi, which is a big fake rock, basically. It's, it's made out of concrete, but it's, as Karen said, based on a natural formation uh, that we can't really transport from Azerbaijan every, anytime we want to play it, so we have the fortune of, of having this substitute here. And you might have picked up on the fact that we were playing with the idea of the old game paper, rock, and scissors. Uh, paper can wrap a rock and so it beats the rock, but the rock dulls the scissors, but the scissors can cut the paper. So we thought it would be fun to explore this as a, a sort of motif for improvisation. So that was a piece we've never done before until tonight, but it hopefully had some integrity to it in that it was based on an idea that many of you, I'm sure, picked up on. And then we uh, just ended our first set with a piece by, that I wrote called Bombs Garbo for three handheld gongs.